Hey guys, what's up? It's Ash and welcome back to my chronicles. So today I want to talk to you guys about a serious ongoing topic, racism and racial issues. And before I start, I know that this is an uncomfortable topic for so many people. I know that a lot of people like to avoid this topic altogether because of the discomfort Believe me, I'm nervous about this. I've never talked about any of my racist issues with anyone other than my closest friends and family. So this is kind of a scary topic for me as well. But I felt like I needed to say something. I have posted things on my Instagram, which I will put somewhere in this video but I felt like that wasn't enough and so I'm using my YouTube platform to talk about it. I know that people are probably not going to like this video. I know that there are going to be people who will unsubscribe, who will leave hate comments and honestly I don't care. This is a topic that affects me as a black woman in America, and this is my battle, I will not be silent on it. And I will not let other people silence me. And I hope to educate you guys on this topic. I hope that I persuade the non-believers that racism still, in fact, exists because it still does. There has never been a time where it hasn't existed. It's, there has never been a time that it has stopped. Racism has always been an issue. So please just hear me out. Watch this video with an open mind and here goes nothing. About a week ago in Minneapolis, Minnesota, a man by the name of George Floyd died at the hands of police brutality after a police officer put his knee in George's neck. George is heard constantly saying that he could not breathe. The person recording the video asked if the officer could get off of him and the officer did not budge one bit. This has sparked protests across the country and for the demand of police brutality to end. First off, I want to give my condolences to George's family and to any other black person who has died in the hands of the police. My condolences, my thoughts, my prayers to all those victims. Rest in peace, paradise, and power. And second, to everyone who is peacefully protesting, uh, educating others on black struggles and what black lives mean in America. I want to personally thank you. There has been plenty of times where I would have where I would talk to friends about my racial issues and they didn't really understand or couldn't really give me advice on it because they've never experienced it secondhand. So a part of me felt like I was a sort of a outcast if I could describe the feeling but to just see so many different people of all different backgrounds use their platforms to talk about it protesting demanding change saying enough is enough it is just overwhelming in the greatest way possible and to all of those people making a change I thank you so now that we have covered that I want to talk about my own racist experience since I have had quite a few. I'm pretty sure a lot, of, a lot of people probably think that I probably never have had a racist experience, but not true. I have had plenty. I have been called the N-word more times than I can count. I have been racially profiled going into certain stores or restaurants in suburban cities. I have been 
judged on the way that I talk and my voice because there is a saying, you're talking white. And apparently a lot of people say that I talk white, which is a prejudged notion because we all know that there's no such thing as talking white, talking black, talking this, talking that. And I feel like that's part of the problem. Uh, people saying, you're, oh, you're talking like this race. Oh, you're talking like that race. We're basically placing certain stereotypes, certain traits onto one race. And that's part of the problem of why there's just so much racism in this world. Just so much stereotypes discrimination, you know, stuff like that. And so those are things that I have personally dealt with. I will be honest with you, when I was a teenager, I didn't really understand racism. I think like most people, when we're kids, we don't really notice things that would be considered racist or discriminatory. We just, I guess, brush it off. But now that I'm older, now that I'm an adult, I know what racism is very clearly. And I know when people are either making stereotypical comments about me. It's just, it's just disappointing to say the least. It's disappointing because why are we going to judge someone on the color of our skin? Why does someone feel that their skin tone is prettier than mine? Why is there a lack of representation in places just because I have a darker skin tone. Like, why is this the case with so many things? And if we talk about these things, like why, if we question these things and that leads to conversations, it can spark a change in a way. Because a lot of people, and I will say it again, are uncomfortable are very uncomfortable when it comes to talking about racism, discrimination, stereotypes, everything regarding racial issues. But if we talk about these things, we can stop this racist mindset because as we all know, racism is a taught concept. And if we can teach people to love each other, to not judge someone just because of the color of their skin, the world can be such a better place than it is right now. And I think a lot of people are saying, are seeing this mindset with all of the protests that we are seeing and I really appreciate that and I'm hoping that change does come soon because a lot of people seem like they're ready for it and Let's just hope that change is on the way. So now that I have given you a spill on the situation at hand, my experiences on racism and just what racism is in general, I want to tell you guys some resources on how to help with the Black Lives Matter movement and how to just educate yourself on racism in general. So you can educate yourself by watching movies like The Help and The Hate You Give. Those are two good examples of movies that talk about racial issues and I feel like the, they're the most educational out of the bunch. Another thing is by protesting. And again, I know that a lot of people are uncomfortable with protesting because of the pandemic that we're in and being that close to people. It's okay if you don't feel comfortable protesting. There are still other ways that I'm about to describe that you can help out. If you have the money, please donate to organizations like Black Lives Matter, the NAACP, and this is only for people who want to donate and who have the funds. I know that since we're in a pandemic, a lot of people are struggling with money, 
believe me, I know it's okay if you can't donate. There are still other ways like protesting and educating yourself by watching movies and reading books. And lastly, by signing petitions. Change.org has many petitions related to Black Lives Matter and just wanting change for American society in general. I have already signed two petitions, one on George Floyd and another one on Breonna Taylor, another police brutality victim who I feel does not get the same recognition as the other victims do and we need to start saying her name more we need to put up her story so i will leave a link to change.org as well as the petitions that i have personally signed in the description as well and also we need to conversate with our friends and family about this topic the more people that we can educate and try to change the mindset of the better American society and just the world would be. So that is my spill on everything. I hope that everyone does their part by using one of the resources that I have listed in the description below, as well as talking to other people about the situation and educating yourself and others. I will go back to posting my normal content next week. I just felt like I had to say something. I could not be silent on the situation. I hope I educated you. I hope I gave you all of the information you need to I guess persuade you to educate yourself on this topic. I tried my best. I know I'm not perfect. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it with a friend. The more people that we can educate on this situation, the better. And see you with a new video next week. Until then, stay safe. Love yourself. Love each other. And just... Live happy lives and bye.